from this production music lab with another tutorial and I'm quickly going to show you how to make this kind of gliding bass using Massive. As you see here on this track Over here we are in the context of 85 beats per minute and uh, my friend Dave just sent me his new song and I was messing around a little bit with it. I kind of like this gliding bass line for, for his song. So I'm going to quickly show you how to make this sort of bass line using Massive and starting from the init patch. So let's um, insert a new MIDI track over here. I'm always preloading some effects with the MIDI track so don't worry about that. And we are going to look for Massive. I'm going to drag Massive onto this channel. And we have the init patch loaded. I'm going to copy this MIDI and placing it here on this track. I'm taking down the volume a little bit just to preserve the ears. And well, that's the MIDI we got. So you see there's certain overlap over here and over here to make the gliding bass sound possible. Anyways, um, right now it should sound pretty weird. So let's do something with the init patch. First thing, we, uh, we are pitching down all, all the oscillators over here, minus 24 and select the wavetable position saw over here and square over here, that one up, those two up. We are sending those to filter one later. And um, this one is going to be a sine wave. So I'm taking the sine wave over here. I'm taking up the amplifier as well. I'm sending that one to filter two. And I'm telling it to, uh, I just want the sine to go through without any adjustments. So um, right now I'm putting it into serial mode and I'm selecting a low pass filter over here. Mix only to filter one. Uh, let's check how that sounds now. Okay, interesting. So let's go on with a little bit. Let's select the classical tube over here. Maybe like that. And select the chorus over here. Give it a little less depth. So now we are getting closer to the sound we want, but we still don't have the gliding, the gliding effect playing out. So let's go into voicing over here and select monophone, select unisono, put unison spread up a little bit and listen again. Let's go to oscillator and put up time. There we go. We can also do one more thing, maybe add a little bit of um, kind of like um, vibrato into it, but delayed vibrato. So I'm taking the third envelope and I'm delaying it quite a bit and I'm putting in a little bit of attack and decay up using that one on the depth of the vibrato and I'm also going to use it a little bit on the rate over here and I'm taking up the decay a little bit. So in the long notes in the tail you can hear a little bit of vibrato now. Uh, well that's basically the sound and it massively responds to those overlaps over here so those really uh, make the difference in the sound if you make them longer or shorter or the difference between the notes you're playing is uh, The distance is longer or shorter it will really sound different And um, on my other 
another track, I'm also using a little bit of effects. I'm, I'm putting in a side chain and I'm also putting in a compressor because um, with the init patch and those adjustments over here from Massive, we have quite a distance between the loudest element of that sound and the less loud elements. And we can adjust for that a little bit with using a compressor. So equal out the volumes a little bit of the different notes. And also we can take the side chain from up um, from over here. Um, that's basically um, the same notes as the kick over here, but we muted that one. And the kick and all the drum samples in here are from our Deep Premium package, drum package. We have that on our text description, we have that on our website. And let's play everything together. And put just the first one up. I'd like to do one more thing over here. I'd like to put up the attack a little bit in the overall amplifier um, envelope. So that's his song. I just I just messed around a little bit with his song because I kind of liked um, this chorus, but I wanted to try a little bit of those bass sounds over here. Um, we just created it from the init patch, and I think that's already a pretty cool gliding bass sound. I will make this available for free download through our website. Um, also on our website, we have a lot of other massive preset packs. Um, you can check them out if you want. If you really like this uh, underlying template over here, there's a tutorial. It's called, I don't know, R&B or hip hop kind of tutorial. And uh, check the description if you're interested in the template. Well, let's listen again. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, just post them below. And thank you so much for watching and see you next time.